Roto. I got another channel message today about uh, somebody being freed of all soul contracts today instantly. So, I want to talk more about instant karma release. How you can actually release your karma and your karmic contracts instantly without having to be punished because people people like to punish us. They like to say, oh, karma is going to get you. Well, karma is self-punishment. And the moment you stop punishing yourself, it stops happening. So let's talk more about how you can actually release karma because most people don't know at all, apparently. Okay, how do we free ourselves from karma? What do we have to do to get instant karmic release of all soul contracts? Some people don't want to. Some people don't want to free themselves of all soul contracts because they kind of like the trauma bond. Anyway, <laughs> okay, so let's see. How do we? How do we? How do we? With the Two of Cups and the Three of Wands and the Seven of Wands. 37 could be significant here. Maybe the, the age of 37 could be significant. So we've got Two of Cups, which is Pisces energy. Three of Wands and Seven of Wands are both Sagittarius energy. So people who are very capable of manipulating energy. Right? You need to be a bit of a shapeshifter here. Two of Cups is somebody who is very balanced in their yin and their yang. Somebody who can, um, who allows themselves the freedom to be whatever they want to be. Including, you can say, I don't want this karma anymore. I'm setting it free. And I stop applying pressure. What did I say? I had a reading just a couple of days ago about um, karma being like the principle of action and reaction. As long as you're applying pressure... You're hurting yourself. I'm hurting my finger. When I stop applying pressure, the karma is gone. Because the, the, the reaction has gone instantly. That's how the universe works. According to the laws of physics, not to the laws of I'm going to hit you with a sledgehammer because you pissed me off 20 years ago. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> so this is a, somebody who, who really knows how to, to, to use the energies. The feminine and the masculine energies. Three of Wands talks about your ships coming in, manifesting something to come towards you. Being in yin energy, receptive energy. Seven of Wands is you standing up for yourself, right? So the, both of these are Sagittarius cards, but they're kind of like the yin and the yang here. Okay, so how do we get this instant karmic release? How do we get instant karmic release? release holy spirit talk to me more about instant karmic release how do we release our karma and our karmic contracts instantly ten of wands we just drop them like i said you stop applying pressure you stop holding on to it and it's set free so it's instant it, it's just as simple as that people just as simple as that anything else Is karma punishment, as people like to say, Queen of Pentacles? It's self-punishment. The Queen of Pentacles makes me think of Virgo. Virgos tend to criticize themselves very harshly. They're giving themselves lashes. I'm seeing like a monk. You know how the hermit is kind of like a monk? Well, monks, they lash themselves in, in certain traditions, right? They give themselves lashes for being a, a sinner. Well, that's karma, okay? So your burden is your own. You're creating your burden. You're freeing yourself from the same burden, right? Eight of Wands. Yep. Instant. Instant rapid movement forward. <laughs> and now you're free. You're zero. You're back to zero. Captain Planet, he's our hero. <laughs> I'm gonna take pollution back to zero. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> Freed of karma. Karma clean. Instant. Karma cleaning. Just because I said so. Okay? Four of Swords and you're healed. There you go. It's a miracle. Waiting for the miracle to come. You're the miracle. You're creating the miracle. It's when you say, you, I want to let go of my karma. I want to let go of the past. I want a clean slate and a future. And there you have it. Wish granted. Take it. I said so. In the beginning was the word. Ace of Swords. The word. The only card I need is the Ace of Swords, because I say so, okay? 
16 tower moment. This is like letting things crumble. It's kind of like the Ten of Wands. And you're moving into calmer waters, right? Also, it, the Six of Swords is in reverse, so it's a, like something's returning. The wheel has turned, right? It made full circle. And we're done. Because you stopped the wheel. Two of Swords. Six of Swords, Two of Swords. Two of Wands. Four of Cups, you're rejecting. You're rejecting your karma. You can reject your own karma. I won't take this anymore. I won't continue this cycle anymore. And you cannot accept because somebody is telling you, oh, you have to get a punishment, you have to do this, you have to do that. No, you don't. You don't have to accept it. Wish fulfillment. Like I said, instant wish fulfillment. Just because you wished it. You wish to free yourself. Now you're free. 49 could be significant. So we've got 37. We also have got the, the 7th of October or the 10th of July as important dates here, as significant dates. 41, 16, 62. Uh, bingo. <laughs> Ace of Wands reversed. It's not giving any more energy to the same thing. Whenever we stop giving energy to the same thing, the karma stops. That's all, right? Anything else? Anything else? Is there anything else here? Well, again, the fool is coming out. So no, there's nothing else. That's all. It's it's simple as that. It's just as simple as that. People don't like to hear this. Because they don't want to really free themselves. And they don't want to free you either. They want to punish you. People are a bit sadistic. We are a bit sadistic. We have to admit that. That's why we want karma for everyone. Karma, karma for you. Karma for them. Six of Wands, victory. 68 or 86 could also be significant. Eight of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Okay. So Eight of Pentacles talks about working on yourself. All you have to do in order to release the karma is to work on yourself and to improve yourself. And then you can... And also giving to others, right? Giving to others the knowledge you acquired yourself. You gave to yourself, you gave to others, and now you're walking away karma-free. There you go. Anything else? Anything else about freeing yourself from karma? Holy Spirit, show me the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. What else do we need to know? Four of Wands, celebration, stability. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups talks about options. You need to choose. You choose which cup do you want. Do you want the cup of karma or do you want another cup? You can throw out the cup of karma. Get another cup. There you go. Instant, instant, instant. You're back to a child again, right? Whatever you wish, that's what is coming true. It's like wish is coming true. Maybe childhood is wish issues. <laughs> I almost said issues. Childhood issues. <laughs> Instead of wishes, there you go. That's that's a Freudian slip there. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> the King of Swords. You've got the sword. You've got the word. The bird is the word. You said so. You said I'm letting go. I'm cutting this out. And it's out. Ace of Cups, you finally found self-love, right? Self-love, that, that's what it is. You refuse to give to people who are taking from you. So you refuse to apply pressure to give. I'm not giving any more energy to the board here. I'm letting go. And that's my self-love. I refuse to give to people and places and circumstances that no longer serve me. I just don't give them energy. 
and karma is instantly gone. Poof! I hope this helps. Whether you agree or not, that's it's, it's okay. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Poof. I'm releasing you. <laughs> okay, bye.